the splendor of the key. Welcome to another weekday song. I hope that you had a wonderful day yesterday. You had a wonderful start of the week. So we come to Wednesday. There's just a few things that I want to ask you. As I reflect on the psalm that we're going to get to in just a moment, Psalm 63, how often do you stop and think about the love that God has for you? Is that a love that sometimes you take for granted? What does it mean to you that the creator, the sustainer, the provider of the universe longs to be your father? You know, God came to earth as the son of God, as Jesus, as the Christ. And he made the payment for your adoption. He wants you to be his child. In our psalm today, David, while isolated in the wilderness, is reflecting on the love that God has for him. And as I read his words, it is David's heart's reaction to that love of God and love for God. David's words speak for all those that know God's love. I know they speak for me. I wish I had David's ability, his inspiration to write such beautiful psalms and express such love. Let's look at Psalm 63 together. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh thanks for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked up upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals, but the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exult, for the mouth of liars will be stopped. I think really my favorite phrase in that is your steadfast love is better than life. Isn't it wonderful to know that no matter what's going on around us, no matter who's against us, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what's going on with the economy, no matter what's going on in the nations, that God's love is better. So much better. I hope you know God's love. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you for wanting to be our father. Help us to be your child. There may be those that are watching this, who have seen this this morning or this afternoon or whenever it's being watched, that are not God, that are not your children. Father, help them to seek you out. You have sought for them. You, you have paid the price for them. Father, help them to come to know you and have their sins removed in the blood of Christ as they are buried with him. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your care. Thank you that we are your children when we are in Christ. Help us to be the best that we can be. Help us to know that love and to live in that love. Help us to pass that love on to others. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this weekday song. I look forward to these each morning. I hope you are as well. And my prayer is, as always, that until the next time we're together, that God will bless your day. Love in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice.